Hi, I'm Earl. Thanks for stopping by my shop today. I recently made a ceiling mounted camera boom to use in my shop when making videos. That project required 14 wooden knobs to tighten everything down with. Most of them were two inches in diameter like this. I'd like to show you today how I make those in my shop. To lay out the pattern, set a compass to one inch and draw a two inch diameter circle. Without changing the adjustment of the compass, place the pivot point anywhere on the circle and mark where the pencil intersects the circle. Move the pivot to that intersection and again mark where the pencil intersects the circle. Do this four more times and the circle will be divided into six equal segments. Now use an awl or punch to make starter holes for drilling. Ten knobs have been laid out on this board. Drill the center of each knob with the appropriate size hole. Using a one half inch bit, drill six holes around the circumference of the knob. Brad point, spade, or fastener bits should work fine here. Threading the center holes or installing threaded inserts is much easier to do before cutting out the knobs. Here I'm using a quarter inch tap to thread oak knobs. Oak seems to hold threads very well. I haven't had any problems at all with the knobs I've made this way. Next I cut the knobs from the board using a bandsaw. A scroll saw, jigsaw, or coping saw could also be used for this step. A disc sander does a great job of sanding to the line on the knobs. Here I'm using a 12 inch 60 grit disc mounted on my lathe. Next I ease the corners on an oscillating sander using a 3 quarter inch drum. Then the edges are rounded over with a 1 8 inch roundover bit on the router table. Finally I go over the knob with a sanding mop mounted on the drill press. Now let's look at some of the options we have for using threaded inserts and pronged T-nuts. First is a threaded insert that is installed with a T-handle or even a bolt with a jam nut on it. I bought a few of these at the time from the home center. I installed these with the slot up for a while but I've been told that you go in first to aid in cutting into the wood. After the insert is installed, we just unscrew the T-handle. This portion of the video is at double speed. I've prepared a scrap piece of wood with appropriate size holes for this demonstration. These inserts stay in place very well and of course wear is not a problem with them. The next insert I have uses a hex head driver for insertion. I bought these in bulk from eBay and they are significantly cheaper that way. I personally prefer these over the previous type. It's just easier to install and remove them with the hex head driver. A ratchet may be used but I've had success just screwing them in with a drill.
I also have threaded pronged T-nuts. I purchased a bag of 50 of these from Fastenal. I'm not particularly fond of these personally, but there are applications where they work well. A hole is drilled the size of the shaft and the T-nut can then just be pounded in. In hardwoods you might want to pre-drill holes for the prongs. You might also want to use a Forstner bit to drill a countersink so the T-nut sits flush on the wood. I find that these T-nuts often work loose, so I usually drill small holes where the prong starts and secure the T-nut with three small screws. It's certainly not a neat looking installation, but it works. You might have guessed from the project that threading the wood with a tap is my favorite method. It's worked well for me. I do have to be careful not to cross thread the bolt, and they probably will not wear as long as threaded inserts. If the threads get stripped, I can always drill it out to the next size and re-thread it. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. I have several other videos already and plan to be making many more. I hope you have a great day.